Beautiful. Wow. Wow. That took us a minute. Yeah, it did. It felt like it took math, but it didn't. I was just like, we need to record, but we're recording. We're recording. It's just very different. I know. We have our camera set up, done, people. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded for the most part. Um, Two novices trying to set up two cameras. It's incredible. It's like I'm suck a dick for the first time. (laughs) It's like I'm taking it up the ass for the first time. Except that was more graceful than this. was less painful than what I just had to do. Uh, Tech tech in this bitch and that bitch. Oil and water. (laughs) Oil and damn water. (laughs) Well... We're here today because we had a very intimate uh, experience together. We ate ass. We ate Jurgen's ass together. <laughs> my husband. <laughs> we ate my I husband's ass. I told you we're all close. We I are don't close. Know what you guys expect no, I from fully us? Consented. No, I'm talking to the, them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm like I'm in. I'm all in. They're hysterical right now, oh, but we all yeah. had fun, people. Yeah. No. Um, but we did collectively go with me to uh-huh. go get my IUD. Yeah. Emma and I share the same doctor. She mm-hmm. found her first. She's phenomenal. Sex yeah. positive. Just like the absolute dream. I wish all of you a doctor as good as this one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Emma asked me to join her on this journey to get a copper IUD. Yes. So um, first and foremost, I don't know. I guess I'll talk about why I chose copper. I yeah. guess. So I've had issues with hormonal birth control in the past. I was on it for about five to six years. My first couple years were completely fine. And then I just started feeling like completely like emotionally fluctuating. My sex drive was gone. I wasn't in the mood anymore. I don't know. I just, I couldn't explain how my body was reacting. Mm -hmm. And so I took out hormones and I've never wanted to go back. The more I've learned, I just know that that's not going to be good for my body. So I'm not going to go back. That's why I chose copper. Uh, it freaked me out because I was scared of the pain, yes. but you've experienced this before. Yeah. I actually got an IUD when my now husband and I first started dating. Um, I had, I also have struggled with hormonal birth control. I was on birth control pills since I was like in middle school because I've had severe cramps and that's mm, mm-hmm. Western medicine's cure right, 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 for right. cramps. Um, so I went on that and it was fine. I thought at the time. Now I have a lot of health issues. So I don't, I'm not going right. to say that those two things are correlated. I don't really know. My hormones are fucked up. Right. Uh, tried that, tried um, yeah, different birth control pills. And then my doctor was like, okay, well, let's try an IUD. It's more localized. Um, didn't work for me. I had to get it removed Ooh. after like a month because it just did not work for my right. body. Um, it was intense. I, yeah, it mm-hmm. was an, it's like a really fucking bad cramp when they put it in. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's a point in lying and being like, oh, it's just a little pinch. It fucking hurts. Right. It sucks that birth control hurts, hurts. Yeah. so much mm-hmm. um, and that people with vaginas are the ones that have to bear the brunt bear of that. Bear the brunt of that. Yes. So I've heard from a lot of friends that it does hurt. I've like, yeah. that's kind of the only thing I've heard um, from people who have gotten IUDs. So that's why I wanted to bring a friend because I was scared. And there I was. And there you were ready at my beck and call. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I made Cass come with me. Um, <laughs> I kept her in the room the entire time I changed because mm-hmm. I didn't want to be left alone once. <laughs> I needed all the emotional support I could take and that, that day. Is there. Yep. Uh, I just walked around in my shirt and no undies for a while. <laughs> I have to say the funniest part was when you were talking about the person that you're dating right now and saying that you can cut this out if you want to, but saying how comfortable you are with your pubic hair situation. And you said, I've never been more comfortable with my pubes. And I said, in this moment right now? <laughs> you mean you mean right, right now? Right now? You're going to show me more than I... Are you right now? Um, That's yeah. so funny. That's really true. I was like, oh yeah, I don't have pants on. <laughs> I'm saying this oh, to this you. Oh, this is intimate. I'm saying this to you with no bottoms. Uh-huh. <laughs> And no that bottoms. could be crossing a line. No, yeah. No. <laughs> and why I chose right then to start talking about. <laughs> also, another highlight of that moment. There was actually a few highlights, mm-hmm. surprisingly. But I was like filling out my paperwork, getting ready to like get this thing implanted in me. I was like, all my focus was going to that. Uh-huh. But before you get an IUD, you have to take a pregnancy test. And so I was like really serious. And then Cass was like, Man, how different would this day be if it came back that you were pregnant? <laughs> and I was like, 
Yeah. I, it's <laughs> that good to have be perspective. Different. <laughs> You're like, I didn't say bad. I just said different. I said different. <laughs> I would be excited. I did have a dream that Emma was pregnant once and did not tell me, but like revealed it on Facebook. Oh, on, my like, God. Facebook, too. Which, like, I... We don't go on Facebook. We don't go on so Facebook. So it was like very triggering though. But so I just, I need, I need to be the first to know. I want to know before you do. <laughs> you should have gone in there with our doctor. Exactly. Actually, I will do the swab. I'll Thank do it. you. Thank you. Give me her urine. <laughs> I'm the only one allowed to touch her urine. I do anything with it. It's just me. <sighs> yeah. yeah. No. So thankfully I'm not pregnant and I was able to get my IUD. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know if I... Can we tell the fart story? <laughs> like, I feel like that's so funny. I think we should. Okay, let's do it. Um, so then, as you do, you just lay down. Str- except she's like, you can put your feet here. And they were already there. Like, I was just already mm-hmm. stirruped up. <laughs> just ready to ride. <laughs> I'm very comfortable with my legs spread open, apparently. Very comfortable in stirrups. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. right. I forgot they were called stirrups. <laughs> Horse girl. I get it. I get it. I get it. That's a good joke. Uh, I had a speculum in me. The doctor mm-hmm. was doing that. And I was like already nervous. And she was wearing a headlamp. Our doctor wears oh, a yeah. headlamp because she said she had a speculum that has a light on it. But mm-hmm. it gave out. It gave out. So she yeah, was wearing like those that you do when you like night hike yeah. uh, to look into my Your cave. Night hike. My night- <laughs> Your night cavern. <laughs> That sounds like a good place to get a drink. <laughs> My night Isn't it, though? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that was good, though. Thank you. That was good. Um, and I was, like, just getting really nervous by the time that the speculum was in me. So our doctor decided to tell us a story to loosen the mood. Can you do it? I feel like you tell <laughs> yeah. stories better. Oh, that's also, not true. But. No, I tried to tell a story like you guys told me to tell the guy I'm dating. Um the bean story last night oh. and I was like I started getting stage fright telling the story and then I forgot so all funny. the details and I was like you guys do it it's the silliest little story there was a guy at a party and he liked beans saw Emma got the tiniest scoop of baked beans on her plate and said hey another bean another guy another bean guy that, <laughs> yeah. that's good I could not spit that out last night <laughs> you did that really well thank you and I'm, I'm just really well versed in your life and now everyone calls me bean guy <laughs> Well, and they, and there, there, worse there really has been beans at every dinner since then. That's true. Like for me. It's good that people are trying to keep you comfortable, though. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah. So this story. So our doctor was just filling us in. She's well aware of our yeah. podcast, well aware of our interest in sex and all things vaginas, I suppose. I suppose. Um, and so she's talking about how she was putting in an IUD in someone. They uh, had to fart. <laughs> Right before they were inserting. So our doctor, the sweet angel that she is, was like, oh, hell yeah. Like, you know, take care of business. Yeah. Assuming that this person would just toot on the table. <laughs> table um, toot. A table toot. A quick a quick and dirty <laughs> table toot. Like that guy, whomever it was. That <laughs> <laughs> we were, <laughs> I'm not saying names, but we were at dinner. It was four of us and it definitely wasn't three of us. Uh, and someone <laughs> farted because it was like a bench like there was seats on one side of the tables it was like a bunch of tables all lined up and then a long bench and then someone to my right don't know who someone to my right farted and it rippled I don't, they don't, I don't reverberate reverberated off the entire bench I thought my phone was ringing like I checked my phone which it ended up it was on the table it wasn't even on the bench I was like it wasn't my phone Someone just farted. You know what's so sad is how I would say that we are definitely like body positive. (laughs) We are like your body's going to do weird things and that's Uh normal. We get the ick so So fast. fast. So fast. (laughs) Because we went in the bathroom and Emma was like, (laughs) I think they just farted. (laughs) And if that's the case, (laughs) ugh. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Or like if somebody, we were talking about like if somebody gets a little bit of food on their face, like how shameful that is for some reason. (laughs) And it's so mean. It is so mean. Because I don't know why it happens, but it it is innate. It's It's in me. That's a survival instinct. It's a survival instinct. All my icks are survival. Yeah. And they tell me when to steer clear of dangerous people maybe it's because like babies get food on their face and so you're like oh that's pathetic (laughs) wow wow you're pathetic 
pathetic. You're helpless. Are you a little baby? I'm little baby. Little bitch boy. <laughs> you make the toots. Table toots. <laughs> little table toot. Anyways, story within a story within a story. We're very good at that as well. Um, so this person lets out or does not let out a table toot. I apologize. I totally just veered off track. Instead of doing a simple table toot, jumps up, goes to the window where there are drapes, <laughs> wraps themselves in a drape, farts, rips doesn't ass. toot, rips, rips ass, ass, and then opens the curtain to spread the smell <laughs> throughout the exam room. This was pre-COVID, so they didn't really have to wear masks. You yeah. know, like it wasn't like my nose is covered. And so, and our doctor said it was like rancid. She said she was choking putting in this <laughs> IUD. So uh, there you go. so funny. But she told that <laughs> this story. This person is Emma. This person is me. I didn't do a table toot. I did a I did a drink toot. I did a drink toot. That was like a drink toot. <laughs> like sing. Oh yeah. Drink <laughs> toot. Anyway, but she told this story as I had a speculum in my mm-hmm. vagina, and I swear to God, I thought I was gonna like laugh it right out. <laughs> Clap it. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh its way out of my vagina. I was so scared, and then I like felt like I needed to tuck it back in. But she mm. she did she that. She took for care me. of business. Yeah, she knows what a role is. If she's gonna tell you a funny, yeah, she better tuck it <laughs> right back in. She's holding the speculum for me. Yeah. Oh my god! But then came the terrible part where she measured my cervix or my uterus, and something was either seven inches or seven centimeters. I don't know which. I don't know. I was blinded by pain. I have never seen you in that much pain. Yeah, it was. It was insane yeah and i don't know if it's criminal criminal <laughs> if we should arrest my doctor <laughs> if we should start a hunt party no. sue god <laughs> sue god i don't know yeah that that was i almost like wanted to throw up like mm-hmm. i needed the fan turned on like tears came to my eyes like i almost like crushed your hand well, and you were wearing like a thicker button up like flannel yeah and our doctor had offered to turn on the fan more and emma's like no i'm okay and then she's like okay i think i need the fan. i need the fan <laughs> i like pulled the shirt up like above my bra i was like i need to breathe man <laughs> it was it fucking sucked yeah i have never felt that much internal pain and like mm-hmm. movement without me knowing like I, me doing it to myself right. or something. I don't know. Like <laughs> jumping on a tree and falling on your back. You knew what was coming. <laughs> I can deal with outside pain. I can't deal with inside pain. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Or trees. Oh my God. <laughs> so another quick aside. Last night I was with the guy I'm dating. Mm-hmm. I was being sassy. We were out walking my dog and he was like, do you want me to get my friends to like to come beat you up? And he pointed to a tree. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Because he was also there when the tree beat me up. He's like, I'm going to get my friends to come beat you up. And then he pointed to a tree. That's hilarious. I was like, please retell that joke in front of Cass. She will fall in love with you. That just like spoked my heart. I was just going to say I'm in love. Yeah. I'm in love. I feel like he's a man after my own heart. I know. So when you can make fun of Emma in a really good way. Yeah. You'll be my friend. Be my friend's friend fast. (laughs) You're a friend of my friend is my friend. (laughs) Is my friend. (laughs) Uh that's hilarious. Uh, why was I talking about that? Uh, internal pain. It was oh, really, really yeah. fucking bad. And I don't know what they measured. I tried to remember, but yeah. something of my cervix and or uterus was seven something. centimeters, two inches. Or feet. Or feet. And <laughs> that was the worst feet. part. Yeah. And then came the IUD, which was painful, but not mm-hmm. as painful as whatever the fuck she just did with So the measuring, is that like... Is it comparable to anything you've ever felt like a cramp or was it like I want to say yes, but that was only the beginning felt like the beginning of it, like the mm-hmm. worst period cramp. And then it felt like my uterus was being flipped over. Ah, Yeah. Great. So it was like cramp, cramp. I'm going to pancake over your mm-hmm. uterus like a fish. Just move <laughs> like it a like a fish. fish. <laughs> and <seven> then. Fish. <laughs> fish and then it's going to be cramp cramp and pull out Ah. and then that like radiated throughout like my entire abdomen until it could relax because it was like cramping that entire time 
Um, so I, I was good that it took her a minute to get the IUD because yeah. I needed a fucking minute. And right. that was the worst part was that I knew that there was still more. Right. If that was it, I would have felt better. It's I don't like know. when you get one ear pierced and then you're like, I still have fuck. Another. Which is why I never got my nipples pierced. Because I'm like, <laughs> if I do one, I'm going to have to wait through that pain until I can get the other one. Or just do one. Yeah, I thought about that too because I was going to be a pussy and just get one. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on me. I never got it done. <laughs> Are you still thinking about it? No, I grew out of that phase. Yeah, I can't picture that for you. A girl I had a crush on had her nipple pierced. And that's um, why I wanted to do it. I was like, really? I'm going to be like her. I'm in. I'm going to do it. I'm in. And then I graduated. <laughs> and then on. I graduated college. Yeah. <laughs> and then I moved. <laughs> then I turned 18. Um, anyway. And then the IUD went in. It was painful. Felt like a cramp really quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, much less painful than the measuring. So Measuring 10 out of 10. Pain? 10 out of 10. Okay. 10 out of 10. Insertion? Uh, six. Okay. Six out of 10. And what and are your quicker. cramps normally? Um, my cramps normally are probably like a six. Okay. So it felt like really intense, like day one period cramp for in like a quick punch. Yeah. You know, Ooh. but that one also subsided quicker than the Power measuring. Punch. <laughs> Power punch. Yeah. The, when she measured, it didn't subside for like over a minute. This one subsided like the second she took okay. it out. So that makes sense. But that was my entire experience and Cass was there and I don't, I don't know how people would do it alone. Mm-mm. I could not have known that I was going to endure pain and then have endured pain more than I was expecting to. Yeah. And have been alone. Well, I was happy to be there. I held your hand. I was clammy, but so were you. So I was so, so sweaty. <laughs> so it worked. I had a nurse holding my hand the first time they did it that has known me since I was a baby. So that worked out well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it does not hurt uh, nearly as bad to get it taken out, which is what our doctor said, but also right. from my experience, does not hurt nearly as bad. But you mm. have like, what, 30 years with it? I have 30 plus years. <laughs> I have 30 to life with this guy. <laughs> no, but I do have like 12 fucking years. Yeah. So. Uh, You'll get it taken out in the 2030s in if the you 2030s. keep it in the whole time. I know. My God. It's terrifying. But what's also cool about the copper one is that it works immediately. That's really cool. I don't have to wait for like hormones Acclimation. to soak. Have you tested it? I sure have. <laughs> and you know what? Also, he told me he could feel the string, not with his penis, but with his finger. And he, he said that unprompted? Or did you tell him? Um, I didn't tell him. I just said that there would be a string. Like, we talked oh, about okay. it this morning or something. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, yeah, something about my ID, blah, blah, blah. There's yeah. a string. He's like, oh, yeah, I could kind of feel it when I was fingering you, but I can't feel it, like, when we're having sex. I like that. That feels honest. That yeah. feels authentic. That feels true. Another yeah. point. Yeah. But our doctor did oh, say. Gryffindor. <laughs> For Gryffindor. <laughs> our doctor did say that don't tell the partners that you're sleeping with because then they'll like feel it, but they probably right. won't, but they'll like get all psyched out from it. Yeah. Um, which I, I love. I love selective truth. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them you have an IUD. Yeah. Go all for that. Go off. You don't need to explain. If they don't yeah. know what an IUD looks like, it is none of your business having to fucking explain it yeah. to however old of a person you are speaking to. I also did not know it went in my uterus. Where did you think it was? My vagina. It would fall out. I know. I know. But I thought <laughs> I it was 30 minutes until I had to leave for my appointment. And I'm like, what is this going to look like? And I'm like, oh, it won't look it's like my anything. Uterus. And I knew it had to go through my cervix. You're like, it goes through the cervix and then back into the vagina. Then back, in, it just does a loop-de-loop and pull. Yeah, just Like SpongeBob fun. said, with <laughs> tying your shoes. That's how you tie in an IUD. Yes, obviously. You go through the cervix and pull. It's like a duvet that you have to tie <laughs> all the corners. <laughs> what would you tie to? You tie it after my cervix. <laughs> Fucking ow. But I like, I could compute it, but then I couldn't visualize mm-hmm. it. So I had to see it. In well, Google Images. Uh, will you talk a little bit about the after? Because the after wasn't fun. After was not fun. So immediately after, I was like, oh, fantastic. Cramping's done. I feel great. You even made a joke like, don't go home and have sex. Because mm-hmm. I like, I feel like I looked like I was okay. Yeah. Um, you looked presentable as hell. Presentable as hell. And I felt great. Like, I honestly felt fine. And then within like an hour and a half of being home, I started getting slow cramps. Um, mm-hmm. Within like three hours of being home, I was like, oh, this is like day one of my period again. By the middle of the night, it was like sharp pain that was coming and going that was like hot, like in the eights. Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't the 10 of which I felt where my uterus was flipped over, but it was at the eights of like someone is stabbing my uterus. With a knife. With a knife. So I had Advil. 
I had CBD like rub on mm-hmm. stuff. <laughs> I really packed it on. I took one of our uh, microdose gummies mm-hmm. <laughs> and all of that was still at like an eight. So I couldn't even imagine what that would have been at. Damn. Um, without unmedicated. Anything. Unmedicated. <laughs> yeah. So fuck being unmedicated. And then I know fuck being unmedicated, but I was thinking about all that and like honestly going through birth control situations, like what I've had hormonally, mm-hmm. my IUD, did I just cut you off a little bit? Sorry. It doesn't matter. Um, I was like, it, it kind of, and with all this like Roe v. Wade stuff, it has helped me be unfiltered in terms of asking for what I want and having conversations. I love that. Because I'm pissed. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because I'm mad and I was hurt and I'm mad at the world right now. Mm-hmm. And so now I'm like, you're going to go get an STI test and we're going to talk about it and we're mm-hmm. going to talk about safety and I'm going to tell you what I want in bed. And it's like, obviously I'm not perfect. Well. Kind of. <laughs> um but a perfect princess <laughs> with her copper IUD. Copper IUD. I'm going to write a book. Um, TM. But it really did because I'm just mad. <laughs> so. Well, I think that's good. I like yeah. that you took it as like fuel. I'm fucking get what I want. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Mm-hmm. It's badass. Just but continuing to show the world what a badass you are. Badass. You'll swing from trees. trees. You'll get I an will. IUD. <laughs> I'll graze a tree <laughs> and land on my back. Yeah. And You then jumped get my... into it. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Um, But now I'm like a week out almost, Mm -hmm. and I feel completely normal and back to my normal non-cramping self. Anyway, that's all. That's my weekend update. Yeah, thanks for sharing your story. Thank you for being here, and thanks for coming with me. You're welcome. There for the whole thing. I'll take it out myself, too. I I think if I asked you nice enough, you would. I, I don't know. You've asked me to do things that I've said no to. That's true. You're not a pimple popper, and that yeah. really bothers me. I'm sorry. I have no one to maintain my back. But if <laughs> I if mean that we were in like an apocalyptic time, and you needed to get out your IUD, I think I would do it then. I think you'd do it before then. Okay. Well, I also, guess you said it. you'd shit in a bucket for free, so <laughs> I didn't say for free. <laughs> You're I think it was like five hundred dollars. It was less than that, dude. Okay. Mine was $500. No, you said 5000 which is ridiculous That's because ridiculous. you would do it for so much less. No, uh If I had $500 cash and said, nobody's going to get in trouble, nobody's going to say anything to you after, just go shit in that water How, who, bucket. I mean, I would do it if it was like you and me, but if the people were there that were there that night that we were talking mm-hmm. about this, I would not do that. I would not do that with workers there. I would not do that with customers Even there. Even if they didn't care? <laughs> in what world in this world that i'm creating what do you mean where i'm gonna care. give you 500 dollars cash for shitting in a bucket <laughs> i'm allowed to create these also, other i said <laughs> i said i'd i'd uh puff a jewel that we found on the ground for 500 dollars, and you that's thought true. that was insane that is insane that's not insane yeah because that's touching something you you could hover when you shit you're still shitting in public. Because if you are using somebody else's jewel, that is your somebody else's problem that is becoming yours. If you shit in a bucket, that is everybody else's problem <laughs> except for yours. Tell me I'm wrong. My logic is there. If you want to really get to know your friends, play Would You Rather <laughs> and How Much Would It Cost You to Do yeah. This. Um, that's a really fun game, and you'll get real familiar. Well, there you go. There you go. That's your that's your only homework. That's your actionable tip. Yeah. Congratulations. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>